What's going on, Muscle Monsters? Align Gonzalez here, and in this video, I want to go over my two meal method for fat loss. Okay, so this is something that I recently did when I did my 21 day extreme shred challenge, which basically was three weeks of extremely low calories to get absolutely shredded in a short amount of time without having to starve myself or without having to lose a bunch of strength or anything like that. Okay. If that's something you're interested in, uh, that 21 day challenge, then I would advise that you go to the link in the description you put your name and your email address and join the waiting list so that next time we open it up, you'll be notified and you can join us. This is going to be for anyone who needs a quick jump start on their fat loss. So maybe you have a lot of fat to lose and you want to get the ball rolling, right? Because results yield motivation. Uh, then this is for you. Or if you're like me, who's already relatively lean, but you wanted to get to that next level of leanness pretty quickly without having to do anything crazy. This is also for you. So here's what we did. We followed the two meal method and it's exactly what it sounds like. We consume two meals per day, but here's how the magic happens. Okay. It's not as, as simple as, you know, just eat two meals and you'll be fine. No, there's a strategy, right? There's a method behind the madness. So the first thing is you need to be intermittent fasting. We are going to only be consuming food for a six to eight hour window. Okay, for me, I usually stayed within the six hour window. So I would break my fast at 2 p.m. and then I would start fasting again at 8 p.m. So my first meal was at 2 and my last meal was around 7.30. Now I know this seems like torture, especially when you're eating a very low number of calories, but bear with me, okay? So once you're, when you're fasting, um, that might be the hardest part of this whole thing if you're not used to intermittent fasting. But the simple strategy that you can use to ensure that you're making it right to that to, to that feeding window or, or to when it uh, starts is just have some coffee, have a lot of water, right? Fill your stomach up with things like that, things that uh, blunt hunger. And then once you break that fast, right? You're going to do so with one massive feast. We're talking about 40% of your total calories all in one meal. And the reason we want to do this is very simple. It's because we want to stay full and satisfied for the next several hours. Okay. We also want to be able to indulge in the foods that we enjoy while we're in this dieting phase. So it doesn't feel like we're dieting. So, um, for us during the 21 day extreme strike challenge, we're eating very low calories, but it never felt as if we were starving ourselves or being deprived because we used this strategy. So it was about 10 times body weight in calories, which as you know, is really low, right? But we knew two things. Number one, this strategy is going to make it easier. Number two, we're only doing this for the next three weeks. So it's not a huge deal. So we have this huge meal that makes up about 40% of our total calories. And then that meal leaves us full and satisfied for the next several hours. Okay. Now, if you do get hungry before it's time to have that last feast, then have a small snack, right? That makes up about 20% of your total calories for the day. Okay. That'll hold you over until that last feast. And then once it's time to have that last feast, again, 40% of your total calories in that last sitting. And the reason this is important is because now your feeding window is about to shut, right? You have no more calories to consume for the day and you have to fast all the way up until the next afternoon or whenever it is you're breaking your fast. But again, because number one, you're having these huge meals and number two, over time, you're getting accustomed to eating during these uh, hours or only during these hours, it becomes very easy to eat the foods you enjoy, even though you don't have many calories to consume for the day. 
right? Without ever feeling like you're depriving yourself. And I know this seems like a very simple strategy, but keep this in mind. When I, years ago, when I was getting ready for my first fitness competition, right? I was eating more calories than I was during this 21 day shred. And I felt absolutely miserable. I was waking up, I was having my meal, I was having my, you know, four to six meals per day. I was extremely hungry at night. It was hard to sleep. I was absolutely miserable, okay? There's no other way to put it. I was miserable. If I had done this strategy, this two meal method, while I was getting ready for that show, it would have made it a breeze. And I'm not saying that's not hyperbole, right? I really mean it. It would have made it an absolute breeze because I was able to consume very little calories despite being used to eating so much, right? And still not feel like I was starving myself. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the two meal method, right? You fast until it's time to break your fast with um, one huge meal, 40% of your total calories. If you need a snack to hold you over, you have a small snack that makes up about 20% of your total calories. And then you finish the day with the other 40% of your total calories. And then you close that feeding window and you do it all over again. And again, if you want to join the next 21 day extreme shred challenge, join the waiting list. I'll put the link in the description. Just go there, put your name and your email address and you'll be notified when it's open again. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button below and I'll talk to you in the next video.